welcome to another riveting episode of Crystallic's Kitchen. Sorry we've been MIA lately, but for the past two weeks I've been sick with two separate colds. And in between my colds, my baby was sick. Poor thing. He's full of boogers and it's gross. Now I'm full of boogers, but it's not that gross because I know how to sniff them up my nose. So this episode, you might catch me sniffing my boogers. And I might cough a little bit on the food, but it's okay because I'm going to be the one eating it. Now, you, oh, my children drinking. Hold on. Do I want to what? You're going to be in my intro video. Okay. Um, it's my sister, you guys. See? See? Oh, the important news that I found out is, you know how I was telling you that I was craving mayonnaise and it was kind of weird? Yeah. Um, I really wanted garlic, or what is it called? Artichoke Parmesan dip, like you get like when you go to Applebee's or whatever, and um, it's just basically mayonnaise. <laughs> it's just mayonnaise and cheese. Isn't that? That's what you had to tell me. Isn't that exciting news? <laughs> oh, poor connection. Great. <laughs> All right, I'll let you go then. Anyways, so y'all know that I'm pregnant and I've been craving mayonnaise, so now, now the world knows. It's kind of gross, but I really want cheese and mayonnaise, so why can't I think of it? Artichoke, mayonnaise, and parmesan, and I'm going to put it in a bread bowl. I'm going to put some spinach in it as well. I also have these cheeses I got from the swap meat, um, smoked gouda, some sharp, extra sharp, and some pesto herbs. Delicious. And then my husband, I'm going to make him like a red lobster ultimate fondue bowl with a uh, Velveeta, some different kinds of cheeses, and some shrimp, and something else. I can't remember what it is. Um, but yeah maybe we can't poop for a week after this because we're going to be eating like a whole bowl of cheese. So stay tuned if you would like to hear me cough and sniff my boogers. So I'm just doing the prep work and I just wanted to talk a little bit about my life and my channel or like I'm a YouTuber or something. Sorry, Silas is watching Moana in the other room. It must be a scary part. Um, Chris and I decided that we're going to make a trip to San Diego soon, probably at the end of February, when I was pregnant with Silas, my BFF Alexis that I've known since kindergarten, threw us like this crazy baby shower, it was like insane, I, I'm so grateful. Um, this year I want to do some, or this year, this baby... <laughs> I want to do something like super low key because I don't even need anything. Like I really don't even need a shower. I just want an excuse to, for people to come and pay attention to me. But um, hope he's okay. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, low key. I want to go to Bay Dianza in San Diego. And I want to barbecue. I want to make some tacos and like some salsa and some cheese, <laughs> mayonnaise probably. Anyways, um, so everybody could come and hang out and have fun instead of doing like the traditional baby shower games. I want to do like a dominoes tournament. I thought that would be fun. Um, I had some other ideas too, but I can't think of them at the moment my pregnancy brain. Um, I'm cutting up artichoke cards right now. Um, 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 I had more stuff to say and I can't think of what it is. Uh, so, if you're my San Diego peeps, get ready for that. That should be fun. It was a lot of fun uh, when Silas did the baby shower. Chris's friend Kevin came with us. He's like our illegitimate adopted son. Um, even though he's like older than me. But he came with us and he got really, really drunk at my baby shower. And we played the mannequin challenge, if you guys remember that. Silas is singing. 
we played the mannequin challenge where you have to like hold still and whoever holds still for the longest wins. And Kevin was really drunk and he couldn't stand up straight. He could not stand straight. He was just like standing there like... The video is funny if you saw it. So that might be a fun game to play again after I make everybody take lots of shots. But Domino's tournament and maybe like... I don't freaking know handstands or something. But I don't think anybody can do handstands. Uh... I want the kids to be able to play like their own kind of game because they got roped into the adult games last time and none of the kids won anything and they were the ones most invested in it. But like they can do egg toss or whatever and throw eggs at each other. And what else can we do? If you guys have ideas, let me know because I don't even like baby showers really. <laughs> People invite me, I don't ever go. But... Yeah, ideas for baby showers, non-traditional games. Not that poopy diaper one, because that one is disgusting. Maybe chugging beer out of a baby bottle or something like that. That may be fun. I want to do more adult stuff. Make it a little bit more fun. Um, <clears throat> what else? Oh, yeah. About Chrysalix Kitchen. So when I go down there, I was talking to my friend Jessica about doing a baby girl's kitchen in at her house because we'll be at her house um, the night before preparing making like marinating the meat chopping everything up whatever we got to do um she's white but she's mexican at the same time so she knows how to cook really good she taught me a lot of things a lot of recipes i know <sighs> that should be fun because i'll make her take shots too whoever else is there kevin probably he's gonna be coming Last time he got really drunk in the baby shower, and then after, and then he didn't make it to Jessica's house. Uh, he went to his hotel and probably barfed him anyway. I don't know. Silas, come here. Come here. He doesn't want to. And I'll drink some virgin micheladas. It's an alcoholic beer. Oh, and if you have any ideas about what you think that I should tape, let me know with my video camera with the tape in it. Just kidding. Uh, I think that's it. If I think of anything else, I'll hit the record button again. I'm 17 weeks pregnant now. Almost halfway there. This is a block of Alita cheese. <laughs> All right. I remember what else I was gonna say. So, I'm gonna grate some more cheese <coughs> while we're talking. Add some mozzarella and some uh, cheddar cheese. I don't remember if it's sharp or mild or whatever. Um, so, when we do Croissant's Kitchen slash Baby Girl's Kitchen in San Diego at Jessica's house, I thought it would be a lot of fun to do like a chola kitchen because Jessica today sent me this video of her cooking. She told me not to share it, so I can't. But the way that she was talking in this video just gave me the idea. Um, she's a white girl, but she sounds like a Mexican girl. Uh, the way she says, pasilla chiles and jalapeno chiles. Uh, um, it would be funny if we dressed up like cholas and talked in the accents because if you know me, you know I'm really good at that accent and Jessica talks like that normally. <laughs> so that might be funny. Um, if you guys think that would be funny and you guys would like to see it, let me know. I don't even know really who watches my videos because you guys don't tell me. I think I have like one cheerleader and her name is Jamie and she's my cousin. I don't even think my sisters watch my videos. But anyways, I thought it'd be really funny to do that. So let me know if you want to see some like sharpie eyebrows and winged eyeliner and accents. Because we can get real ghetto. Yeah, so tell me. Tell me if you watch my videos. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me if you like more of the funny stuff or you just want to see me cook. Or if you want me to be more accurate in my measurements, because I probably won't, but you can tell me if you want to. 
I think that's enough cheese. <laughs> enough cheddar cheese. <laughs> okay. If I think of anything else, I'll hit record again. Silas just brought his lightsaber into me. Where are you going? Come here. He wants me to turn it on. Silas. He's just sitting on the ground now. It's like I pushed record and he ran away. He knows. Oh, let's fill you in on some of my ingredients I got going on so far. <clears throat> this isn't like a traditional video because I didn't want to look for the other camera. I don't know if it has char batteries charged. And last time it made me so mad it kept shutting off. So I just canceled the whole tamale video because I was pissed off. All right, so we have cheese on my shirt. I already had to change my shirt once. We have, let me not kill anybody. Some mozzarella, just kidding, <laughs> mozzarella. Some frozen spinach, some Velveeta, some cheddar cheese. Some cut up shrimpies. Those are for Chris. In my bowl. I'm gonna have artichoke hearts and pepperoni. I wanna eat one. And then I have the cheese, the swap meat cheese we talked about earlier. I'll get the stuff for the bread bowls. I'll show you how I do that. I mean, I'll get the bread for the bread bowls and I'll show you how I do that. Hold on. These are the bread bowls I got. I just choked. <coughs> I like to space my boots. So I'll show you how I cut these up. I'm gonna get some water. Hold on. I was laughing at myself when I choked on a pepperoni. Okay. We're gonna cut these suckers up. I got these at Rayleigh's. They were on sale. Two for five dollars. They're the big ones. Gonna cut the top off. I should probably get a bread knife. This is my favorite part of Moana, if you can hear it. The crab, he's like my spirit animal. Okay, bread knife. Chop off the top here. We're gonna cut this guy up into little squares because you're gonna use it for dipping. This is some tough bread. <laughs> That's probably why I was on sale. It smells good though from what I can smell through my snot. Right. Basically we're making croutons with it. Little squares. Put it, I got a foil lined baking sheet because you can just tear the foil off and then you don't got to wash the baking sheet. <laughs> use your brain. I don't use my brain a lot, but when it makes work easier, I think. All right. So we got the top all cut up. Now, with this guy, you're going to rip out the guts. And try to rip them in like pieces because these are going to be bake too, like as croutons for dipping. Because basically we're just gonna have a bowl of cheese. You could just eat the cheese with a spoon, like I might. But, dang, I can't breathe. I get, I get winded just like walking to the bedroom. <laughs> when was drooled on it. Um, okay, you guys don't wanna sit here and watch me feed ducks. I'll get back to you when I'm done. So this is the finished hollowed out bowl of bread. Still some in it. Uh, you can get more crazy if you want to, but I don't care that much. This one's gonna be Chris's. You dare me to lick the bottom of it, like, uh, and then and feed it to him and not tell him. <laughs> That'd be mean. <laughs> if I was an uncapped guy, I'd do it. Nah. I forgot to record the the crouton part. I already put him in the oven. 350 and I got my two booby bowls 
that I'm gonna put in the oven as well and get them like nice and crispy. So I just ran into the back of my chair. Are you okay? And um, get them crispy because the cheese will make them soggy. All right, so this one is my cheese bowl. We got some garlic in there. The recipes that I looked online said a cup of mayonnaise, but we're just gonna eyeball it because I do what I want, I'm a grown up. This is probably like a cup and a half. It's 12 ounces. A cup is eight ounces, so. Eh, maybe that's a cup. A little bit over than a cup. Got mayonnaise, garlic. I'm gonna add all of this Parmesan cheese. It doesn't say. Oh, five ounces. Boop. This is hard to do with one hand. All right, I'll add some mozzarella, some cheddar. I got some of the swap meat cheese. I want a lot of the swap meat cheese because I want it to taste like sharp. <laughs> All right. And we have our frozen spinach, our artichoke hearts and pepperoni. Sorry, this is so messy, but I'm one-handed, so I'm by myself. Um, I'll show you when I mix it all up, because I need both of my hands. All right, so here's the dip all mixed up. I licked the spatula off when I mixed it, and it tasted really good. I'm gonna pop it in the oven with the bread. Ooh, burn my phone up. Let's check on the bread does not even look crispy yet, so we'll just pop this in with it. And we'll get started on Chris's. We have some milk. The recipe said a cup, but I'm making a little bit more, so sorry, I got a text message. <clears throat> We're gonna add the rest of the mozzarella and the cheddar. The rest of the swap meat cheese, the Velveeta. Oh, come on. One handed is pissing me off. All right. And the little shrimp. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Da, 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 da. Not too much salt because the shrimp is probably salty. Some pepper. Uh, uh, uh. And some paprika, but I need the paprika. Can you hear Moana? Alright, paprika. And we're just gonna melt it on low, keep on stirring because it will get stuck to the bottom of the pan and burn, and we don't want that. Alright, I'll get back at it. So I got Chris's ultimate fondue daddy, daddy, on the stove right here, daddy. melting down. It's on level six. I'll probably turn it down when it gets a little bit more meltier. Because, Silas, no. There's poison in there. No. Anyways, back to the cheese. All right, so that's that. I'll let you guys know. I gotta tend to my child. All right, we got the fondue still melting. There's still some chunks in there. What we got in the oven is probably done. Let's see. That looks delicious. Like I'm going to enjoy it. Ooh. We've got our croutons. Ooh, they're done. Stuck sticking to the napkin. Alright. I'm like a stunt double doing this with one hand. And we got our bowls. I'm scared. Alright. I'm going to finish this cheese and then I'm going to load it all up. Chris should be home in a second and we will grub. And I'll let you guys know what he thinks of it, what I think of it. I already know it's going to be good. Alright. So here's the finished product. Here's mine. Chris's is very gooey. It's like a volcano. And go ahead and taste it.
Mm, mine is like artichoke dip. Really good. Mine is everything I wanted too. Mayonnaise and cheese. All right. See you guys next time.